Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's committee uh, on, on the consumer and worker protection. Everyone, please place all electronic devices to vibrate right mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we're ready to begin. Good morning. My name is Marjorie Velasquez, and I am chair of the Committee on Consumer and Worker Protection. Welcome to our committee hearing and vote on proposed intro number 559A. I'm joined today by my colleagues on the committee, Councilmember Abreu, Councilmember Farias, Councilmember Menon, Councilmember Juan, Councilmember Brewer, Councilmember Krishnan, and Councilmember Ose. Proposed intro 559A, sponsored by myself, aims to restrict the provision of plastic eating utensils, condiment packets, and extra eating containers by food service establishments. Single-use plastics are cheap to produce, lightweight, durable, and easy to dispose of, but this convenience comes at a cost. Once discarded, plastics take decades or even centuries to break down, polluting waterways, killing wildlife, and even ending up in our own bodies. It is estimated that about 8 million tons of plastic leak into the ocean every year. That is equivalent to dumping a full garbage truck into the ocean every minute. There's so much plastic in the ocean that it has formed a landmass known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, floating between the coasts of California and Hawaii. 99% of this patch, which is twice the size of Texas, is made up of plastic. The problem's only getting worse as the use of plastics is expected to double over the next two decades. If we maintain business as usual, the World Economic Forum expects that there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. Although recycling provides an avenue to redirect plastic waste from landfills and oceans, it is nowhere near a sufficient solution. Nationally, the plastic recycling rate has hovered at just 9% since 2012. And even if that rate increases, there's a high chance that plastic will end up in landfills or oceans anyway. Recyclables must be properly cleaned and sorted or they can, uh, can contaminate the entire stream and must be thrown away. In addition, the U.S. does not have the capacity to process the high volume of plastic waste Americans produce and ships more than one million tons of plastic offshore for recycling annually. Unfortunately, destination countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam have been found to improperly manage their own waste. Plastic utensils pose a particularly big challenge. In the U.S., over 100 million plastic utensils are used daily, and some analysts estimate that Americans waste 40 billion plastic utensils per year. Small items such as plastic utensils and condiment packets are often missed by machines that process recyclables, and they are particularly damaging to the wildlife. The Ocean Conservancy lists plastic utensils as among the most deadly items to sea turtles, birds, and mammals. I am proud of the legislation we are voting on today. This bill will prevent food establishments and meal delivery service providers from automatically providing utensils, condiment packets, and extra eating containers to consumers, reducing the amount of unnecessary and unwanted plastic products that are simply thrown away after a single use or even no use. I've been heartened to see the overwhelming support for this bill amongst restaurants, consumers, and the administration, and I urge my colleagues to vote aye. I, know, I now call on the clerk to call the roll. Thank you. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on consumer and worker protection, proposed introduction 559A, Chair Velasquez. Aye. Abreu. Aye. Brewer. Hi, congratulations. I see Eric Goldstein here, so it must be a good bill. Thank you. Farias. Aye. Krishnan. Aye. Menon. Aye. Ose. Aye. Juan. Aye. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. We're leaving the vote open, <coughs> and we're skipping the stuff, baby.
Thank you. Con continuation roll call. Proposed introduction 559A, Councilmember Botcher. Aye. Final vote is now nine in the affirmative. Final vote is nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Madam Chair, that is a full committee.